All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to go through Fruity Slicer. So this is very helpful when slicing melodies and samples and can create some pretty interesting ideas pretty quickly out of some basic sounds. It's pretty much a basic version of Slice X. I'll do a video about Slice X at some stage. But without further ado, this is Fruity Slicer. Now, once we've got our sample loaded, we can click over here to load sample or we can just drag one in. We can come up here and change the BPM to whatever it is. So we can change it to whatever's set there. If it's um, already embedded in the sample data, that'll just be normal, but it'll try and detect it if it isn't already. And then you can change the amount of beats here, which will also affect the BPM. Right below that, we've got pitch shift and time shift. So we can stretch these samples, reset both of these. We've got the attack and decay. So what that'll do, it is, you can sort of see over here, this is like a little sample, like one of the slices from in here. But you can see at the start, if I turn this attack all the way up, it sort of fades in and then this decay, it sort of fades out. Just tries to get rid of those clicks. So I'll talk about those in a bit more depth a bit later. But over here we've got four buttons. We can open a sliced beat groove, so that'll open up uh, Windows, File Explorer, or whatever. We can load a sample, save the original sample, or save the process sample. We can come to these slice options. Now what we've got, if the sample has built-in slicing, so we can just click that, but this one doesn't, we can set it to dull auto slicing. So that does pretty well with some samples. You can do medium auto slicing, so that does a lot more, and then sharp does far more than that. Or, according to the BPM, so it's 132 right now, we can chop every one sixth, and then all the way up to a beat. So, that can be pretty helpful, I'll show you in a second. Or we can set that to no slicing, it just plays the whole sample. So I'll just set it to a beat for now and come back to that in a second. We can zero cross check slides. We can open this in Edison to mess around with it. We can, these two are grayed out, fill gaps or turn alternate fill gaps. Or we can change the slicing mode, I'll just keep it at transient. Now we can also change the view, this is just more of an aesthetic sort of thing. So you can see how it is now and then I'll hit spectrum and it plays like that. I prefer normal. But now, over here, in this one here, this is the dump beat to piano roll button. So we can do it normally, and that's just how it is now. You can see, it just plays like that, and it'll play like this. Normal. Or we can reverse it. We can also hit Alt-Y, so this would be like now. And we can hit Alt-Y and do that inside of FL, the piano roll. We can do a random one. So this is pretty good for generating ideas and it works best on one beat I found. So you can just mess around with this and try and create something interesting or you can just hit random again and see what it pops up with. I would like um, a two or four beat slice but I think that's probably available in Slice X, so there's no need to put it here. But that is a limitation of using Fruity Slicer. We can also get flattened just to hit every beat, so it'd be on the same note every beat. Like this. We can also shift up, so that's shift slices one up, shift down, slices one down. We can quantize them, or we can add a bit of swing. Uh, we can accentuate beat align slices, can pitch up odd beats, widen the stereo, we can make it crazy, we can randomize the levels, so let's play that. This is pretty interesting for creating some weird sounds, you can use this with other effects and something to, to create something cool. So you can create stutters, like a half stutter, so that'll chop each slice in half, or a fourth, and that'll chop each slice in fourth. You can do that with the chop tool, I'm pretty sure, inside of the piano roll. 
from my experience, this works pretty well when the slices are also flipped, so I'll do that now. Really quickly, I'll just put a half time on to demonstrate what sort of effects you can get really quickly with this. So you can already hear, it's really completely flipped the sample. Uh, we'll come back here. Just set it to normal. And you can also change it to the original length and don't stretch it. Now we've got a couple buttons down here. Auto dump, so dumps the beat into the piano roll straight after loading. Auto fit, so it fits to project tempo right after loading and then de-click so it gets rid of those little click things. It doesn't work too well, so you might have to mess around with these sliders if you desire. Now if we left click on any of these slices, it'll come up here and what we can do, we can reverse them. We can change the name, change the note, and we can right click to remove it or split it or copy the audio to the clipboard. So you can get a lot of um, different sort of effects out of this. So if you have like, um, I'll slice it to dull slicing and then I'll just reverse a couple. And hear what that sounds like. So really quickly, you can change the sound completely. And now finally, we've got this animate, so animates to display. Then play to end, so to place from slice end, from slice to end of sample if you hit play. And then these two knobs here, so it's the auto slicing, you can change it from low to high and change the amount of slices. You can see the background or through here. And then we can change this here. So we've got low, we can add a bit more with the high knob as well. So we've already we've got 122 slices out of that, or we could have eight. So really can create heaps of slices and do a lot with this. But that's about it for Fruity Slicer. There's a lot more options in SliceX, and I'll get to that in a later video. But this is a pretty easy way to start slicing up your samples pretty creatively. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.